Well, let's go back to what seems to be an unending controversy over the importation of fuel worth over 17 billion shillings, which has led to the disappearance of a businesswoman who is battling for the cargo with two oil marketing companies. Energy Cabinet Secretary Davis Chirichir has admitted that Anjo Roge, the missing businesswoman, came to his office looking for help over the matter. Chirichir, who kept off the issue of her disappearance, has however insisted that the consignment in contention belongs to Galana Energies Limited, one of the three companies handpicked by the government to supply fuel to other oil marketers in the government-to-government -government arrangement. Meanwhile, the management of Kenya Ports Authority has dismissed claims by the businesswoman over the ownership of the cargo, saying she used fake documents to claim the goods. Energy Cabinet Secretary Davis Chirchir has broken his silence over the controversial ownership of a fuel consignment. Chirchir, who led a tree planting exercise in Baringo County, has admitted that Anja Roge, a businesswoman who went missing after allegedly recording a statement at DCI headquarters, had visited his office in search of help. The visit came just five days after what she claimed to be her consignment of 100,000 metric tons of diesel was bathed at the port of Mombasa from the high seas without her authorization. <laughs> I'm aware a lady called Anne came to my office. I'm in the Okoko Port. I can send my mail in here. Your mail in the Figa Kitambo brought in by a company called Kalana, uh, and it has been discharged. Yeah. So we will work to cooperate to do a quickly copy. So, but the case is in court at the moment. Churchill says documentation in their possession shows the consignment belongs to Galana Energies, one of the oil marketing companies handpicked to supply fuel to the other oil marketers in the government-to-government -government deal. The cabinet secretary, however, did not address her mysterious disappearance after he allegedly referred her to DCI headquarters when she sought his help. Churchill has confirmed that the matter is still under investigation. On its part, the management of Kenya Ports Authority, who were on Sunday accused of offloading some of the cargo, have come out accusing Anne of forging documents she used to claim ownership of the consignment. In a press conference addressed by KPA Managing Director Captain William Ruto and Board Chairperson Benjamin Tayari, the management said Galana Energies Limited had the genuine importation documents. In a bill of lading, this is the bill of lading she's saying. Mm. Your query. Bill of lading, in my say, new one, shipper, who are near you. Carrier, near you. Sasa, you can understand things that cannot add up. KPS says records in their possession show that the vessel was carrying 93,460 metric tons of gas oil as opposed to the 100,000 metric tons of diesel as claimed by Anjaroge. The gas oil was loaded between the 26th and 28th September at Yanbu Sanref Terminal, after which she departed for Anchorage at Jeddah. The ship departed for Mombasa on September 30th, according to KPA. KPA further says that in its records, out of the manifested 93,490 metric tons of gas oil, 49,091 metric tons was destined to Kenya, with the shipper being Aramco Trade in Fujaira as nominated by the Ministry of Energy and Petroleum. The remainder 44,368 metric tons was transit cargo for neighboring countries including Uganda, South Sudan and DR Congo. <laughs> Kwa hivyo hiyo ndiyo huo ndio mzigo uliochukishwa hapo lakini hayo masuala ya an sisi kwa uh, uh, kama KPA hatuna stakabadhi zozote ya kuonyesha kwamba alikuwa ameleta mzigo kama huo while pointing out inconsistencies in documentation, KPA have questioned claims by the businesswoman that the vessel originated from Azerbaijan Republic and loaded at Jeddah. The authority says documents in their possession show Yanbu in Saudi Arabia as the origin of the cargo. Also in question is the date of loading. Ann had claimed that the vessel was loaded on October 9th, yet the ship had arrived in Mombasa on October
October 11th. They have also questioned why the bill of lading is not signed by the master of the vessel. The disappearance of Anjaroge, a businesswoman who has been involved in the oil importation business for 33 years, comes just two months after another mysterious abduction of Rai Group chairman Jaswant Rai, who was released three days later. Rai's abduction remains a mystery to date, even though subsequent events pointed to the ongoing wrangles in the sugar sector.